morning everyone friday morning i'm not sure what the time is about 10 o'clock or something and uh just got down to the lake and i was thinking about just had a fry up and a sausage and two i uh got down to the lake and i've been thinking about coming into 21 because the winds are going to hack in here tomorrow and they always get down there but they're already here hang on a minute oh, i don't think you see that island there just past the island there there's big tails and that keep coming up so they're all in there they're showing all out here in the water they're showing in my water here they're coming in from the out of bounds coming down here i've just watched them going along that reed line and coming round round through here just vortexing up and veeing up moving all up through here but there's a nice one i see this big tail keeps coming out just past that island over there They're showing, showing, they're already here. They're preempting the wind change tomorrow. We've got east, north, easterly, and then easterly today. The wind, this rain will be stopping in about an hour or so. And then, um, then the wind's hacking in southwesterly over the weekend with the day. Look, see it? Watch that, see that tail? Look, there, look. They're right here, they're showing already. Buzzing, 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 buzzing. Sorry I didn't give you my normal intro, but I was excited because of the fish. So let me start. Welcome everybody to Wayne's Outdoors, you outdoors freaks. If this is the first time watching the channel, I hope you enjoy it. If it is, don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps me out. Even if you don't like it, you can still subscribe. Hopefully, we're going to have a good weekend. I'll speak to you all in a couple of hours when I'm set up. This rain eases off. There we are, showing again, just off that island, look. Buzzing. Anyway, let me get back to the car, get some bits. Oh, I can't believe they're here already. Buzzing. Speak to you all in a bit. Hi again, it's 11 o'clock. Managed to get my bivvy and everything up before it rains. Got this massive TF gear bolly. And I use it so that I've got a little bit of a peak. And so that even if it rains, I can still keep my vent open and the rain don't come in the vent where my head is. Anyway, there's still fish moving around everywhere. I've, put, I've catapulted. Boilies all out there. You see the slick, see the slick spot going out where I've soaked in hemp oil. And I've over against the reeds in that gap over there, I've put a load of boilie. Well, not a load, you know, five catapult pouches full and same out there where them ducks are. About five catapult pouches full. There's fish all in here, they're moving all up round through in here. I've spread some boilie like all in here as well. I've put one catapult so it's spread around here where you can see them little vortexes. And I'll put a load out there up against the reeds where I'm gonna be fishing and uh, Load out there where I saw them shows where they were tailing up earlier. All up around there. So happy days. I'm just going to get the rest of my bits out of the car. I'm going to get my rod set up. So I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all in a bit. Afternoon, everyone. Rods are out on the two spots so uh with any luck we'll have uh we'll have something in the daylight just going to uh sort my bait out just going to do a few more chops uh then i'm gonna add some krill powder to it mix it all about and i'm gonna put a little bit more out then i'm gonna sit back and relax and wait to see what happens so hopefully I'll be able to speak to you soon with something going on in a bit. Right, I just want to show you my bait just before I start putting it out. This is what we got. We got, like I said, 20 mil squid and crab, 15 mil scopex squid, 
there's chops in there with both going through a bit of quite a few through the chopper it don't look like there's a lot of chops because there's a lot in here but there's quite a few and i've put some uh, active krill powder over the top just to give them a bit of a uh, bit of a little bit of something the reason i only feed boyd it here is obviously because it's full of bream it's loads of bream so I just go boily only. I made the mistake of doing particle and hemp before and uh, sweet corn. I just got breamed out, so that's why I uh, just go with boily now. And it seemed to do all right. I didn't get any bream last time. So that's where we are. I'm just going to put some of this out. And then uh, wait and see what happens. I'll speak to you a bit later. Afternoon everyone. I've had a bit of a change. Them uh, 12 foot was just too big for this swim. So lucky I had my nines in the car. So I've swapped over, I've swapped over to my nines. Uh, the spot on my left, just onto the end of the island there. Uh, right where my spot is, there's a tail up, right on my spot, literally waiting for the rod to go off. Like literally like, I mean, they're all just in the outbounds out there. They're everywhere. Just, they're everywhere. They're all down here. I had one stood here and it goes quite deep here. Although it's close into them, it actually goes quite deep. It says fish out there now, right near my spots. There's one literally come out, head and shouldered out, a rod length off the bank, right in front of me. They're literally everywhere here. So, uh, they're just everywhere. So with any luck, it ain't gonna be too long. Ain't gonna be too long. Bloke in the swim, lad in the swim, just to the left, round here, he's round a bit. He's fishing nine wraps out, and he's just had a 30 and a 25, I think he said. He's had two fish this morning. They're all down this end, so, you know, with any luck, it won't take long, and uh, I'll have, have something to show you. Happy days. I'll speak to you all in a bit. You see that fizzing? It's been going crazy out here like a jacuzzi. I'll show you, look. It's literally... Here's the bank. It's literally a rod length out. Just repositioned my right hand rod. It's now literally right in the middle of that gully there, right in the middle. There's a little like bar out there, a little hump. And my other one's still off that island out there. I honestly can't believe I haven't had a bite yet. I've just freshened up, redone my baits. Cannot believe it. So many fish showing. So I've just done a slight change. Something, Something's got to change, something's got to give. That one off just off the island out there i've just put a little mini pva bag with um just clipped onto the hook with uh just uh main line high leakage high oil pellet six mil pellet no four mil pellet i think and uh cc more wafter with a little pink topper see if that makes a difference and that one over there, I've got 20 mil bottom bait, 20 mil crab and krill that I'm feeding, and a 18 mil CC more wafter on top as a snowman. One lumped just off the back of these lilies about 20 minutes ago, literally just on the edge of the lilies. It's crazy. You can see them in the outer bounds. See the outer bounds over there, obviously all roped off just the other side of that out of bounds, all up around there, and they're moving all around the edge of the, they're over there now, you can see them now, just under that bottle in the gap. See them vortexing up and just moving around and topping around everywhere. With any luck, I'll have one soon. See all in here, look, all moving around in here. With any luck, I'll have one soon. It can't be much longer now. They're absolutely everywhere here. I don't understand why they're not feeding. Anyway, hopefully speak to you in a bit. Literally five seconds, I just turned the camera off and one's just lumped right 
in here again. Literally, that was halfway between the bank and them lilies. Right there. I can't believe they're not, I cannot believe they're not feeding. They're not, I ain't had one yet. Crazy. Absolute crazy. I mean, I'm enjoying watching the show, but uh, I'd like to be involved in it. Moving again there now, off them lilies. Absolute craziness. Right. Speak to you soon. You can see that sheeting up. Unbelievable. Should have seen it a second ago before I got the camera on. <clears throat> crazy can't believe I ain't had one yet must be about half four now so I've been set up about properly because that the change rods and all that as well didn't I probably about three and a half hours the fish are still here still everywhere in the out of bounds everywhere around here sheeting up right out here Got to have something soon. Speak to you in a bit. You see this sheet of bubbles? Unbelievable. Constantly sheeting up out there. Crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'll have one soon, surely. It's been sheeting up like that on and off for the last couple of hours. So, fingers crossed it won't be long. Speak to you soon. You finding them fish, Fluff? You finding them fish? We'll find them then. I don't think you're going to find them there. In a bit. See that sheeting up there? Look. That's not far off where my bait is. No, in my luck, it's tench. I'll have a tench or a bream. Unbelievable. I got a little uh, CC more wafter with a bit of fake corn as a topper on that one. And I just put it out of a little golf ball sized PVA bag of pellet. So with any luck, it won't take long. There was literally that other lot there now. That's literally on my spot. I can't be far off my bait. It 
kept sheeting up there earlier, so I brought it in from over in the channel over there and just dropped it right where they've been, just under arm flicked it there. Try and see what it is. I mean, there's been carp in here jumping about and that, so it could be carp. I'm hoping it's carp, it looks like carp bubbles. Never know with my luck. Anyway, hopefully it will go soon and we'll find out. Speak to you in a bit. I think I'm in. Oh, Breen. I knew that would happen. God damn Breen. That's getting unhooked in the water. Bream. Goddamn bream. I knew that had happened. So I've uh, gone back to a bigger bait again and I've put it back over into the channel where they come out of the uh, out of bounds. I've put it back over into that channel. I've put a few catapults over the top of it. So I'm, uh, yeah. I don't want bream. So that that's... Uh, that's scrapped. Anyway, hopefully next time we'll uh, I'll have something a bit bigger and a bit better looking to show you. Ah, oh, speak to all in a bit. Evening all, it's half eight. And uh, it's got my rods out for the evening after that stinky bream. I've redone the left hand rod. It got picked up by a bird, so I had to bring it in and check it. So uh, that's redone, left hand rod. That's gone out with four, I think, more spots over it. Uh, as I was uh, spotting out, a fish lumped right out about probably two foot away to the left of the spot. And if I spooked it and it made it lump out, if it was just lumping out. But uh, so they're in the area anyway. So, you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It's a bit like uh, that's a bit better. Fingers crossed we could have one in the night. I hope something's got to happen. Well, I can't believe I haven't had one. There's fish everywhere. They've been all over me all day. I've tried all different baits. Different toppers. Yellow toppers. Pink toppers. Wafters. The only thing I haven't done is pop up. But they're clear spots. I don't need to pop them up over there. So, uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed we'll have something later on and I'll uh, be able to show you something in the night. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, not long before daybreak and I can uh, rack it up so we can have a look at it in the light. You're allowed to sling them for like half an hour here. So... We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. I'll speak to you a bit later. Morning, everyone. Two o'clock. That means, obviously, it's in the night. Now this one's put up hell of a battle. Very lively, very lively on the mat. Let's try and do this quick. Thirty-two pound, two ounce common. <laughs> Bang in, yeah, thirty-two pound two, absolute stunner. 
It's a new PB common for me. Yes, get in there. Let's get it back because it's had enough. Yeah. Come on, fish number one, get in. That was the left hand spot over by the island. Let's get in there. Morning everyone, it's half eight. Someone's cooking bacon. And uh probably coming from the clubhouse for the golf course. Well, I've just got just going to redo my rods. I've been uh, been ducked out. The mallards have come in and woke me up constantly over the last hour and a half or so. Let's keep beep 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 keep picking up my bait or going through my line. So I'm just going to redo my rods. Uh, weather's changed now. We flip you around. There's the wind change. Look. So the wind's hacking in this end now. All night, when obviously I got up with that fish. And then uh, I was awake from two till about half three, maybe even four o'clock, just listening to the fish crashing. Just boom, one after the other, crashing all around this end down here. Just all like out here, I think. It sounded like they were just out here. So I'm just going to get that... Um, one just showed there then i'm just gonna get uh get my rod sorted out get a fresh bait on that rod get that rod back out so uh let's get that done i'll speak to you in a bit all right it's half nine both rods are done i've put new rigs on both rods New works, new baits. I've, well, not new baits, but you know what I mean. I've gone for the same on both little Kingfisher flying for her. I've got a 80 mil CC more live system wafter topped with a bit of pink. One I've got topped with half of a 12 mil citrus. Could be a 10 mil citrus. It's one or the other. And the other one is 18 mil wafter with a whole citrus, whether it's a 10 or a 12, I'm not sure. Both, both on Ronnie Riggs. So uh, that's what I had to bite on yesterday, last night in the night. Just gives you that little wet, you know, I like it. Good mechanics. Always research if it gets picked up. So, uh, they get picked up a lot here, as you know, as you can see, as you can hear, bloody ducks. Right, so that's it, both rods out on their spots. I'm happy with them, both bang on. I put four or five spots over the left hand one and the right hand one that falls into a little hole, into that little hole, just over the lilies. It's a bit shallower there and it gets birded a lot more. So I've just left that as a single because I've catapulted a load out yesterday. But I've got that there as a single. And then uh, if anything comes from the out of bounds in under the lilies and sees it, you know, it's just going to wit it in it. So, I mean, I might put a catapult out over it later. I'll see how it goes. But I don't want to put two loads out there because I don't want to alert the birds that there's stuff there so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So uh with any luck Oh god at least you will sleep. With any luck we can have a uh, day bite or two today. So I'll uh, catch up with you all a bit later. Just had an occurrence on my rod near the island. There's no birds out there and I had a little pickup 
hasn't pulled it out of the clear. Let's go and check. <clears throat> Yeah, as I thought, something had picked it up and it had uh, dropped the lead, so it's going to get this re-wrapped up, new lead on, resharpen the hook, get it back out there. Hopefully we'll have another chance to speak to you in a bit. Right, so I was just about to wrap that rod up and I found, see that? All them frays and that on there. I found a section of damaged line near the end. Not long, probably six foot so i cut about six foot off redone everything must have happened when i was playing that fish last night on a bar or something so hook resharpened everything redone back out there again fingers crossed we'll have another attempt at that fish speak to you in a bit evening everyone little update it's eight o'clock been a slower day than i thought it was going to be all the fish are in the outer bounds. They're all out there showing. The odd one showing out of the outer bounds, but most of them are in the outer bounds. Which ain't too far away from me, so hopefully they'll uh, venture out there in the night. <clears throat> and I'll uh, be able to pick another one off in the night. Some real beautiful scaly fish in here. I'd love to get into one of them. They're not as big, like mid twenties, but absolutely stunning. Love to get into a big into one of them scalies. But uh, I've had a couple of liners, got me hopes up, thinking all oh, could go in a minute, could go in a minute. But uh, no, nothing today. Everything's sorted out. I shall wait until the sun just drops down a little bit just so that there's no bloody ducks about. Once they all go off to roost, I'll put a few spawns out over my spot. And a catapult out over me other spot. But, uh, other than that, yes, yeah, I mean it's lovely. Weather's been lovely, but you know, quiet day. So I'll uh, catch up with you later. With any luck, it will be in the night with another fish, or within the next ten minutes before the light goes. You know, I'll speak to you a bit. Hi everyone. It's ten past two in the morning. I haven't really got a lot to say, just had an absolute screamer, felt really good, really slow, really ploddy, big head shakes, strong, flat, rot flat rotted me and then it went solid in the pads and I had a hook pull, I lost it in the pads, absolutely guide, I haven't really got anything else to say, um, redone my rig, re-wrapped it up, re-sharpened the hook, put it back out again, so just got to forget about that now and hopefully I can get another one. Hopefully try and go back to sleep. I'll speak to you soon. Morning everyone. Morning. It's just gone 10. I've packed my baby up. I'm starting to slowly pack up my bits. Uh, nothing else in the night other than that lost fish and this random occurrence I had. Where I had uh, two aborted takes before the before I lost the one. I had two aborted takes and I uh, wondered what was going on so I couldn't leave it so I reeled in and this stone here see where it's got that shape there that was perfectly in the bend of the hook so the shank was coming up this side at the back here the shank was coming up here point was here perfect in that groove you couldn't have placed it any better it was out on the gravel bar that got with a stone right in it and so obviously they couldn't <laughs> random because I didn't reel in or anything so whether something had moved it and flicked it flicked a stone in there well it was feeding absolute random occurrence but that's why I had two aborted takes and then that was at about midnight and then I lost that fish in the pads it's just out in front of me here so uh yeah a bit frustrating but you know that's fishing that's what keeps us coming back so anyway, I'm going to slowly get my bits sorted now. So if you don't hear from me again, it's Haynes Outdoors out, Fluffles out. And I'll see you on the next one.